Whenever you are ready. For sure. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm still cold. about to have a nervous breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so do potential <laughs> research. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> so how are you guys doing, for real? Doing pretty good. Cold. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, I, uh, I I was cold, but now I'm kind of immediate back to like, <laughs> I kind of wish I was back on. Like, like, fuck, it's we were just got a long way to yeah, go. Like, <laughs> yeah, we were blasting the fuck out of the AC. Yeah. Um, so basically, what we're doing here is we're starting a new little talk show with Sony Productions for we're going to meet with different cast and crew members and just like talk about shit um we're gonna try and get these out like every other week so it'll be a more regular thing but it's gonna be really cool it's gonna give a lot help give a lot of insight in our productions um and kind of how we run things here but this episode this is our premiere episode bam, bam, bam. um we're gonna be talking about the history of some productions and where it started and yeah. where the fuck are are we now so keeney yeah what the fuck do you do with some new productions? That's a great question. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> One of these days they'll learn that I'm just siphoning money away from the company. <laughs> no, um... I've been noticing we're losing funds. Yeah, yeah, oh shit. Um, so my official title is uh, literary director, right? That's yeah. like what we officially know. And uh, basically what that entails is just that I um, help manage a lot of sort of the... Uh, writing process for the company like uh ideally we're in we're in a system where uh any script that's going to be made uh goes to me and i uh you know give input give edits whatever um and beyond that if people are interested in writing the production or in with the company you said too much they're coming yeah, oh shit oh no <laughs> <laughs> learn about the money <laughs> um, then uh i can be like a uh, first stop to help brainstorm ideas and talk to them and work them through it uh and yeah but other than that i've done a lot of work with the company as in insofar as being like a writer and production assistant and uh i control all the gun uh flashes every that's single true. one you, I do, do. you do a lot of our muzzle flashes yeah <laughs> and that's that's a lot of it that's really like what my official role is now uh yeah what about you, Alyssa? What the fuck? What are you doing out there? Uh, so, uh, now, what it is, because it's changed over the years, now what it is is I'm the head casting director, so uh, most of our productions, if they're not already, like, written with a certain actor in mind, like, I hold auditions with the director, and we, you know, we cast the show or the movie or whatever. And before that, I was the public relations director. Public relations director? Manager? Something like that. Some, some public like relations ballpark. something. Yeah, some bullshit. And <laughs> mostly what and I think before that I was a social media person, were, so uh, I changed a lot. Yeah. So, you know, I went from, you know, helping with Instagram and all that jazz to reaching out to whenever we were trying to get decays to just a screening. Mm -hmm. Like reaching out to a bunch of different movie theaters, a bunch of different people trying to kind of I guess businessy things more yeah, so. Yeah. But I'm happy to be back on the creative side. And I also act in a lot of projects and I've directed one and I've I just on the side like helped you with camera shots whenever you're like acting. So whenever I'm big being it up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um do you and I know I'm your boss. Do you like your roles and do you feel like you're reaching your potential with that. I got a head out. I got a <laughs> <laughs> Um No, uh, I mean, I, I'm really happy with where I'm at. I feel like it gives me, you know, it, it plays to what I know, which is it's writing. And, like, uh, I think it's... It also, like, fills a, uh, a good niche. Like, it doesn't feel redundant, really. It feels totally. like an important part of the process. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Perfect. I have no complaints. Finally. Oh, you it. Um, no, I, I agree. I think that, um, what's interesting, because I'm, I'm an actor first, but it's really cool Good. being on the other side of the table and getting to, I, I don't know, like, we have this thing of sometimes doing it where we like oh yeah can you come in for a call back and then we just tell them that they got the role like that's one of the best moments ever just to see their <laughs> face like oh my god really uh so it, it's really cool to see especially like as we grow just more and more new actors come in and fresh faces because i mean with how sdp started at least like a couple years ago it was 
pretty much like a group of us just making films. So yeah. it's really cool to see the company expand and like to be part of the process of like bringing on new people. Yeah. So I really yeah. like mine too. And yeah. speaking of them older years. Well, I was oh, gonna say, you, you, oh. also, you didn't say what you do at Some Dude Production. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the supreme leader of, of Some Dude Production. Well, how did you get to this position? <laughs> well, Keeney, it's really funny that you asked that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually prepared a little thing. Oh, oh my God. That's actually really, my, so much, my list is so much shorter. It's just like this shit, that's it. Well, I had to go. I didn't even make a list. Two of them are pissed. <laughs> they weren't even real. <laughs> Well, I, I had to go all the way to 2017. Oh where, my god! Wait, that's when it started? <laughs> that is the... Woo! Well, let's just get yeah, into it. Yeah. Let's get into it. So, April 17, 2017 was when we started production on FIA, which was like mm -hmm. the first show that we did. Hmm. And that was also the first big project. I, I had done a couple of things in high school, like early years. This, this was my... I say early years. This was like the end of my sophomore year. But like that, my freshman year, I'd done... Like horror things, like nothing I'd ever show because they're really bad. <laughs> but just really wanted, I really wanted to get into film and acting and all that. And mm. I grew up in the middle of fucking nowhere, South Dakota. Yeah. You guys have been there, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so I was like, "There's no opportunities for it, so I'm gonna just start a web show." Mm. And so that's kind of how FIA started. And I did it with my friends, um, who were all like, "Yeah, let's fucking, we'll do a thing." Um, so that started April seventeenth. I believe we shot most everything that day. There were a couple like pickup things, um, but it went on pretty all right. Um, and then May third, twenty seventeen, was when it premiered at my high school. And this was like a great like it was like up on the screen. Like the audience was like filled because it was some other. It was like an awards night, so it was also the end of the year. So it was like here's all the kids who didn't fail their classes. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving them awards yeah. and just while like during the like the the meal break while like they served everyone. We oh. got to play it. So, mm. did you have like administrators? Like, like, did were the people in the school like? No, like, I, oh I, shit, let's do this. I, this I sounds had, like a cool thing. I had I had to pitch it to the principal. That okay. I was like, here's I I, I I first showed him the script. It was like it was almost like a producer thing. <laughs> <That's>, yeah, <laughs> I was like, this is what I'm thinking. The first pitch meeting. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I, and I, I remember. There, I don't even think it's made it in the final version, but there was a one like um, stage direction where it was like that uh, whatever character um, hums. A really shitty tune, and he called. He's like, said shitty, right here. <laughs> Can I swear? So I'm like, that's not. It's not gonna. That's be not it. gonna. They don't say the words. Never, <laughs> okay, yes, sir. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had to get cleared through them, and they're like, yeah, sure. I showed. They got to see it before we mm. screened it, uh, and then I believe, it, yeah, it went live that same day. So as soon as people saw it, it was available on YouTube. Okay. Mm. And then. After this next one, I do. I want to do. I do want to bring something up. Okay. <laughs> Shit, oh, fuck. So then, months later, September sixth, twenty seventeen, is we premiered the second episode, and then this was the first official mention of Some Dude Productions. Mm -hmm. And so, and this is what I want to bring up: the exact anniversary date of Some Dude Productions. We claim one, but it's kind of up for debate on what people think. So we have these three dates: we have April seventeenth. Which is when the first production started. started yeah. We have May third, where our first project was like premiered, and then we have September sixth, which was when some new productions was said explicitly, because in the last, in the first episode, it was I didn't want to seem narcissistic and be like a Brandon Whipple production, yeah. and so I just it was a bit it was a a production by some dude. Mm. But then we get to the next episode, and I'm like, same fucking issue, what do I do? Yeah. And so it just became Some Dude Productions. So what do you think is, like, the right anniversary date for the company? Because we claim May 6th. Which is the, um... The premiere, the first thing. The, yeah, first premiere. Yeah. Oh, got, oh, okay, you can so pass it on to me. Yeah. I, I would say, yeah, I think the idea came, like... Even though you didn't have like some new productions, the idea of like it not wanting to be like Brandon Whipple mm -hmm. came on the day of the first premiere. So that's the day that I think I would go with because okay. the idea was there, even if it yeah, wasn't like yeah. the actual name. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I mean, like all three dates are like special and important, but I feel like yeah. that one's like a special, like yeah. special, special one. You know, it's the first premiere of the mm -hmm. first thing that you did. That's where you came up with the idea for the name. That's yeah. What do you think, Keeney? Um, I was, I mean, I didn't want to, like, just go, like, yeah, that's probably right, but the more <laughs> I thought about it, I was like, yeah, it's, like, because if you're, uh, like, because you did productions beforehand, 
and even if you even if that one going in wasn't a some dude production it kind of retroactively became it and so because it's in that weird liminal space i would say when it is revealed feels like a good appropriate start right. i think cool um but well, we're all in agreement and yeah there's anyone <laughs> who thinks otherwise is wrong yeah, yeah. yeah. fuck them yeah. big time jump by may 2019 fia had finished its run mm -hmm. um with eight main episodes which, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, and a bunch of spinoffs, including yeah. a Halloween special, which actually went crazy. Um, <laughs> the Falcon Knight, and the first entry in the Blue Phoenix trilogy. Mm. So I did all of that in... No, that's Blue Phoenix 3. No, but it's still an entry. Uh, that's it. You're right. I'm trying to point to podcast. <laughs> so the people who are watching know what they're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was crazy, because after that... I, re I remember FI was originally supposed to be a six episode run. Um, but as I was like writing out the story, you fucking know me. I'm fucking <laughs> so ahead of the game in terms of like knowing where I'm going. <laughs> and I was like, right, I was like, I need more. Yeah. So it buffed out to eight episodes. Yeah. But even before that, it was going to be a three episode like miniseries. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, it goes three, three, just like three, days. six, three. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were, we were doing that, but FI, FI got, got tricky, and I, I, I do talk about this in um, a little commentary track I did with my sister that's up on our website, oh, nice. where we, we went through all of them and watched them and commentated. Yeah. Trippy as fuck to watch again. <laughs> um, but as the show went on, the cast, since they weren't actors, kind of were like losing their spark for it, and so mm -hmm. by the end it was just me salvaging and trying to like just end the show, and like, uh, this yeah. works. Yeah. But that's what I, that show is what I submitted to uh, USC. That's what I, that's how I got into the University of Southern California. That's uh, so sick. On, you know. <laughs> and speaking of that, September 13th, 2019 is when Blue Phoenix 2 dropped. And that was the first SDP project that I released in college. Mm -hmm. I did shoot it the summer before, but it was like, I was in college and I had a project drop. Were you, do you remember that at all? Cause that was like... That sounds vaguely familiar. I mean, like... It didn't do well. <laughs> it's, it's still not so maybe I did here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I guess I'm just trying to see if I I remember you discussing that at all around that period. I feel like we were probably at least talking. It about dropped it. on my birthday, so mm. and we went and saw it. I wasn't a part oh of that. No, that you guys weren't part of that. It's... I wasn't though. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I didn't know this girl. <laughs> yeah, but we, we thought she hated us. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. No. We did think <laughs> Alyssa hated us. <laughs> and... Freshman year of college. I, I knew this was gonna yeah. come up. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Well, so I mean, we can just like uh, not get it just specifically that. <laughs> 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 I did it. Squash the beat. <laughs> no, I think because uh, we can just start talking about because I mean this part of the time that we're really you know it was with, so, it's the the convergent yeah the convergent yeah. point you know because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I mean <laughs> should we say we met? Well, yeah. We, well, I can. Oh uh, God! I don't know how we should start. Here we go. Yeah, no. we have to get into it. Well, okay. I mean, I don't. I'll. I don't draw. I can just say a little bit about like me getting in, like getting into USC, take, into the meeting take, of, of you guys. Take it um, over. Well, because because yeah. So basically, because I uh, didn't really know what the fuck I was doing. I still don't. But I, I really <laughs> in like high school didn't know what I was doing until I got into like theater, uh, particularly in like backstage helping stuff. And that was a big thing for me. And then I pivoted to, there was this, like, uh, do, you remember, do you remember the Coterie Theater in Kansas City? The, yes. Yeah, they had this, like, uh, young playwright roundtable thing where, like, they got a bunch of, like, people interested in writing. And, and that was that was the first time that I really got introduced to, like, creative writing as well as, like, analytical stuff. Um, so from there, I got into, like, writing and all that. And then I applied to colleges and I got into USC. Um, I assume for the theater stuff, which was then funny because I did like three theater things at USA and I was like, this shit's too hard. <laughs> this shit is stressful. There's too many people who are way better at this than me. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, so I got in and it was funny because uh, I remember the, our, our first, or our, my first knowing of you was, <laughs> which I think I've told you before, yeah. was, uh, I was looking out, I was with my parents, we, we, we're in the process, I was in the process of, like, moving in to the new, to, to the, uh, park side, and, 
my parents and I were just sitting around and we were like, hey, let's look up some of your room and see if we can't uh, get an idea for the work. And I, I found your Instagram and I saw you and it was really funny because all of it is like, it was basically just all comic book shit and like pictures of you working out and stuff. That's and funny. my first thought, I was like, God, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a dick. <laughs> um, so then, but then we, uh, you know, I, I started moving in. Uh, and then I met all, your dad before I met you. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, which is very funny and very in line with my dad. <laughs> like, um, but then the before before we even we know no our first interaction came. I remember if it became before or after our first interaction. I, th I think it was before because we went because we went to go talk about, about them. That's when we first yeah. So we because we're supposed to be if you guys remember the whole like. R or RA thing. Yeah, well they took us to yeah. like the place to get food, like dinner. Like they took us to Parkside. They like, took us to. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Well, they, like, okay, led okay, us okay, there. okay. Yes. Our, like half our suite just decided, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked to the Taco Bell instead. Fair. Uh, and while we were walking back, I think is when we first started talking because yeah. I, I had heard you starting to talk about like you know your interest in your filming and all that, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And I could I was trying to like. Uh, talked about that. I don't know how much was actually exchanged, but it's just being like, yeah. that's cool that you do stuff. I like to write. <laughs> like, yeah, we um, talked, I think I told you about FIA. I think I was really, like my yeah. big shit. Back yeah, then. yeah. Um, but uh, you were also already pitching Decay Six at the time. Yeah. I was. I was uh, Decay Six was in the <laughs> Yeah, I was in the works. Um, and then yeah, and then we had our first interaction where you hated me. I didn't hate you. You just no, didn't yeah. understand that I was also socially yeah, anxious. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Yeah, because I was, I went up to you, and I remember I was like, because because we did think, Evan had to say like, oh, where are you from? And a fun fact about what's you. What's your major? Yeah, like, what's your major? In, and outside in the cold. Yeah, which in is a circle. weird. Like, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, shout out <laughs> Rochelle, you know. Dude, Pre Rochelle was the <laughs> Pre best. Pre Rochelle was a great artist. She was amazing. Yeah, I she was great. I, she was great because she didn't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 but, um, anyway, but yeah, I, and then. Can I shout out really quick yeah. in that, that meeting? I, 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 won't, I won't say his name, but as soon as I start talking, you're going to know who I'm talking yeah. about. Um, someone we lived with um, freshman year, and we got, they got to him in like the, my name's blah, 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 and um, we had to give our pronouns as well. Which, coming from South Dakota, that was new to my ass. <laughs> but I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, People I see, it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I just remember, he goes up, he goes, I am blah, 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 uh, the guy ones. I was like, <laughs> whoa! That's why. <laughs> I don't remember. I have oh, a God. very good idea of who it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's really funny. Yeah. But so so anyway, we all introduced yeah. ourselves. We all did that. And then I I heard. I can remember I was just saying that I heard like Kansas City. And I was like, Kansas. Oh, oh, oh. It was Kansas City, Missouri, Missouri too. Yeah. Not the bad one. Not the, uh, and <laughs> the inferior one. Not, yeah, not the inferior one. And so uh, I remember because afterwards I I went up to you and you were with your roommate or whatever, and I was like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's so cool. We're both from like Kansas City, and you're like, yeah. And, it's just like, <laughs> and I, I remember like this you just went awesome. with your roommate and just like left, and was, I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I'm from Kansas City too. And then yeah. it was just like awkward silence yeah, like, for like ten seconds. It's just like nails on chalk. <laughs> <laughs> and both of us were smiling at each yeah, other, like, right. waiting for the other person yeah. to say something, and it just didn't happen. But listen, bro, the ball was in your court. Oh, yeah. I said. <laughs> Yeah, like that's cool. I don't know, man. I was nervous. <laughs> well, good. Like, it, I, well, it was funny though because the the impression that I got from it, or I was like, fucking hates it. <laughs> Which then was even worse because you lived right across from our suite. Right so I was across like, the oh, hall. Fuck. Oh, no. Damn it. We're gonna run into each other. It's yeah. be awkward. No. Wait, so was that interaction after the everyone introducing themselves? Yeah, that was, yeah. I approached her. So, so it wasn't um, whenever you barged into our room with your roommate. Okay, you say I barged in like it was my idea. It was you were there. You <laughs> like, were there. You were okay. participating. I was participating because I wanted to force myself to meet new people. But the reason I was <laughs> Fuck, there... Fuck, it's this guy again. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't think we interacted that much. Oh, I do I... remember going into the room and one of your roommates, I won't say who, was like almost naked. Like he yeah, was just yeah, in yeah, his yeah, <laughs> Wait, and I was so you, you can say who it is. He's coming up later. Okay, yeah, Alex. Yeah, Alex like, Shaw, baby. Alex Shaw. naked in this room. And we were just sitting in there, and I was like, I'm uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, like, so tried to, tried to get out as quickly as Dude just never, he was never <laughs> like, no. hey, maybe I should. No, he, my man walked around in his, I have a lot of videos of Shaw walking around in his undies. <laughs> just the way that he operated for some reason. <laughs> 
I, mean, I haven't lived with him since, so for as far as we know, oh, it's shit. still it's the same. same. <laughs> yeah. Gotta ask Will, gotta ask Will. <laughs> um, but anyways, do you want to talk about your like lead in to university and, and, and Oh yeah, guess? sure, sure, sure. Um, so I uh, pretty much figured out that I wanted to do acting since 8th grade. And as you know, being from Missouri, there's not a lot of like film opportunities unless like you, like you make your own. And in my mind, I didn't really do that. I did have a YouTube channel. Don't look for it. I deleted it already. I, I deleted it already. I did. Um, did you actually, or is that the one that you said was hidden? There is a hidden one that I don't know the password we gotta find to that we gotta that's find even you, younger. You have, bro. We got him. How tight are we? You gotta show us <laughs> that fucking YouTube channel. I haven't even shown Armando that like, YouTube channel. Okay, and, and <laughs> we're closer. We're the dogs, bro. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> okay, well, maybe, maybe. I'd have to be severely intoxicated to. Well, hey, you guys oh, doing yeah. anything after oh, the show? Oh my god. Yeah, doing the applications this morning? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, yes, there is a YouTube channel that I don't have the password to anymore that is still up That's from awesome. my middle school days. That's super sick. Uh, high school, I did have a YouTube channel where I did the whole, like, clothes haul, like, back to school thing, like, that whole thing. That was my film. And then one of my friends in high school pulled it up in class and started making fun of me in front of everyone. Oh and I, delete God. I deleted all of them. <laughs> <laughs> not to dampen the mood. No, you, hold on. I not not to bring this up. I am shocked that of the three of us in this room, <laughs> yeah, so, you got bullied the most. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Me, the way that I am. <laughs> No. So that's like some like I, Riverdale CW yeah. like hateful Heather shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> someone saying to make fun of them in front of everyone. Yeah. I don't think she was intentionally trying to be that mean, but she did put up in front of everyone and be like, "Look at this, guys! Ha 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 ha!" And it was I like, I don't know. Uh, Sounds pretty fucked up to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, oh no, you just misinterpreted. Uh, like when I was mocking you in front of everyone, I wasn't doing it with meanness in my heart. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. So anyways, that was my film experience before. <laughs> nice. So I pretty much only did plays and musicals. And I, d I did like the Missouri Thespians Festival mm. too where I participated. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think that the reason why I got into USC, sure, maybe the audition. My audition tape was really bad. It do you have it? I do. Dude. On my computer. Yeah. Basically, I'll give you the gist. I'll give you the gist. So I think the acting was there. Oh. But... Before I didn't cut it, I didn't cut it, so it was the whole like click and then. Oh, oh that's awesome, dude! <laughs> no, it gets that's better. So I was filming it on my MacBook photo booth <laughs> camera. <laughs> 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 on my MacBook oh. photo booth camera. In, in my bathroom. <laughs> dude, you gotta show us. <laughs> I, will, I will. I promise. <laughs> performing a scene from Brighton Beach Memoirs, and I'll be portraying the role of Nora. When I was six or seven, he'd always bring me these little surprises, like a Hershey or a top. But yeah, so I think overall the thing that got me in, sure, like I think my acting was for at least where I was at the time good, but I do think that it was more so I was involved in like a lot of different things, and I had leadership roles in all of those, mm -hmm. and I... This is gonna sound braggy. I was, I was number one in my class. So okay. I. Oh yeah, brother. Was, Big dog. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that it was a large part of that is what got me into USC. But yeah, yeah. came to USC, didn't know a single person other than uh, there was a guy that also was from my high school that went to USC, but he was in communications. Oh. But how's he doing? I don't know. I think, I think he's doing well. He seems to yeah, be doing well. I still follow good. him on, on Instagram and he seems to be doing pretty well. So, nice. yeah. But, yeah, so we had our, yeah, yeah, our awkward encounter. I promise yeah. you it was because I was anxious. I, like, I just didn't know what to say. Well, what about our awkward encounter? Uh, so was that post hours? Wait, wait. I think that was post meeting? your guys. Or no, our, I think our meeting was fine. Our meeting was fine, yeah. It was... <laughs> Remember our prank war? Oh my yeah. god. We were in a prank war with our neighbors, not you guys, but the people next, next to you next guys. To and us. I was closer with them. You were, yeah, you were tight with them and yeah. we were we were tight with your roommate. Yeah. What a real one. <laughs> RP. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. Um, 
She's not dead, by the she way. She, I dead. feel like we should clarify yeah. she's not <laughs> no, dead. She's not dead, just an insane person. <laughs> um, but yeah, prank war is going on, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, this is fun. Yeah. And then we had a class together. Mm -hmm. um, Heinrich. Yeah, Rena Heinrich, shout out. Fucking shout out. Sm smartest, Love her. smartest woman alive. Yeah. Okay. Um, the big bug. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how she did attendance, she passed around the attendance sheet for everyone to sign. And you were sitting in the row. Uh, I sat in the front. In front of me. Yeah, yeah. I, I was right behind you. And I was sitting there minding my fucking business, being a dumbass little fucking 19 year old. And then you fucking, from the, your back, you side it, you spin around, <laughs> slam that motherfucker <laughs> on my desk. And I mean, Slam! And then you turn back around and fucking look at me. And I was just like, holy shit, she fucking hates me. And I went back to the door and I was like, guys, Alyssa fucking hates us. She slammed the paper on my desk. Isn't that fucked? The and bad thing is, I don't even remember that happening. I have core memory. I don't remember. I mean, I could have been, I was upset about stuff so many things freshman year so i don't know if i was just having a bad day or yeah. if you had made me mad for some reason <laughs> i don't know why you would have but yeah i mean i i trust that it happened because it seems like it's a vivid memory yeah, for I remember, you i remember having me <laughs> <laughs> anyone else see this shit? Like the name <laughs> what, guys? <laughs> oh god god yeah. shout out freshman year what a freshman weird year. Fucking time. Yeah. So by this point, though, we're back to the some dude timeline. Some dude, September, some dude timeline. you release. Yeah, uh, Blue, yes. Blue Phoenix yeah. Two came out September thirteenth, yeah. twenty nineteen. Um, and this was, man, fucking that that era. Brandon had such big plans <laughs> because <laughs> so fall twenty nineteen slash spring twenty twenty, we had started pre production on. A, a new show called The Absolutely Not Normal Life of Hayden Harvey. It was written as a sequel to FIA. Like, I would be reprising my character from that show. And it was going to be a yeah, web show, it was going to be huge, it was going to be like, the big, like, new Sumdi Productions thing. And we were fully cast, it was going to go great. We were already planning spin-offs. Um, <laughs> we had uh, Christine, we had The Beast Within, we had Hayden Harvey Season Zero, which is going to be like a freshman year thing, because the original uh. script takes place like their sophomore year. <laughs> but I also had new projects in line for some of the properties from the FIA era. And I, I literally, my, I'll be able to pull up a graphic, so I think I have a little graphic of like everything that I was planning to release. Yeah. There, was, there was a Falcon Knight 2, um, which I think we released a video on, but it had since been taken down. Um, we announced Blue Phoenix 3 that came out. Um, there was going to be a Blue Phoenix and the Falcon Knight crossover, which would lead into episode 9 of FIA, which was going to take place between <laughs> Hayden Harvey seasons 1 and 2. Yeah. So it was a whole fucking thing. Very ambitious, but I fucking had it. Some new production wasn't even like a really an entity yet. It was just me. Mm. You know, I, didn't, I don't even think I had a title yet. I was just... The yeah, Sunday no. Productions yeah, guy. It was just Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then right here in my notes, I have March 2020. Dot, dot, dot. If only something happened. What the fuck what? happened in March uh -huh. 2020? I feel like that was an important I We'll crack it eventually. I don't know. But I, anyway, something happened and everything that we were planning fizzled and died. For the most of it. We, yeah. we did Christine, yeah. which I'll get to. We did Blue Phoenix 3, which I'll also get to. And we are now... Reviving the Hayden Harvey show, Let's which go. I'll get to yeah. um, in like an hour. In, in like an hour, <laughs> so. on the line. Um, I was gonna say like because this is also I know for a fact this is when I start being involved in some new productions. Yeah. Cause I think up to this point you like sometimes you're like, hey, what's your what? How does this look? How's whatever? And like, yeah. but this because I remember the first meeting we we're going to. Uh, First the, Hayden Harvey the place. Meeting. I don't remember where GFS. It was, G, yeah, GFS. GFS. Yeah, GFS. Where. Um, and that was in like late February, early March. Do you remember? Yeah, that? I remember that. Oh, that's, I know. Did you tell that. Someone, uh, someone went, uh, went up to me while we were walking to GFS that actually asked, like, "Hey, do you know where GFS is?" They asked, "Where is the Great Ford Salvador yeah, building or whatever um, the fuck?" I was learning at that point, 
and I'm still a big proponent of if you don't know someone and they ask you a question, just basically ignore them and keep walking. So totally. I basically <laughs> uh, just said, like, oh, I don't know, man. And they're like, oh, okay. And <laughs> just, you and I walked no, directly you with to Robert. I was with Robert? I thought I was with you. Oh, no, dude. I was at the meeting already. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It was me and Robert. Yeah. And you just, and then I think they, like, also started heading that direction, which <laughs> makes it even worse because it's like some dude just told you, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's to that oh, building. Yeah. No. But yeah, yeah. So, but then there was the meeting, and then because I remember uh, after the meeting, we're, like I was supposed to take on some big production role, management role, something like that. Because you gave me the email, because you gave me the password to all like the summary production email and stuff. Uh, and then after that was something happened, we don't know yet. Yeah, so. And when I was back home, you're like, "Hey, can you help manage this?" And I was like, "I'm just, I can't, I'm not doing <laughs> this." And then you reclaimed the summary production email, and I was, I fell off for a little bit, but. Yeah. Uh, all because something happened. I'm gonna figure it something out eventually. Something happened, but no, we we fully had a full cast meeting of Hayden Harvey. Yeah. I could probably throw up a photo of that. We have photos yeah. um, of what the cast was supposed to look like. You were there. You I that, was. You give I some... was there. My most vivid memory. Well, number I had two vivid memories. One was you had like a huge like you had pieces of paper printed out of like everything that was gonna happen, or maybe it was like just written no, on the board. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I was like. Oh my god. Like, I was really excited yeah. because I remember auditioning for this. My mom was actually the reason why mm -hmm. I got Avery because you had, like, I don't know if you sent it to me directly or you I, posted something. I definitely didn't post anything. I, that was at the airport. I think it was, I was a DM. Out to people. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. You. you DM'd me and you were like, hey, like, I'm doing a show, did it or whatever. Like, here's the character descriptions. Let me know if you want to audition for one. And I saw a couple of them and I was like, eh, maybe I should shoot low, like I'm just now starting out. And this was also in the era where I was terrified of everyone in SDA because I walked into my 101 <laughs> class and there was a girl who like had starred in a Nickelodeon show. I was like, fuck. I, like, think I literally know who you're talking about. Yeah, I was I like, literally know who you're talking about. okay, I'm from Missouri. Like yeah. it just is starting to settle in, you know? Wow, well, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was like, like, maybe I should shoot low. And my mom was like, no, believe in yourself you should do the lead and I was like okay and then I did it and it ended up going yeah, great yeah, you got it. um but yeah so I have a vivid memory of like just being super excited about like how much was gonna happen and the other thing I remember was there was someone there <laughs> that walked in post frat haze and it was like, I'm coming down from cocaine guys and it was just like wait what <laughs> <laughs> and we were all just like fucking classic this guy yeah and no no years later we're like I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember that? We'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll talk afterwards. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk afterwards. Can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I had vivid memories of that. But it was so much fun, like, just taking those pictures because yeah. there's a lot of people there, too, that, like, I had never met before. Like, I, I don't think I had ever met Jonathan. I think that was yeah. maybe my first time meeting Jonathan. Shout out, um, Poster. Shout out, Poster. Um, First time meeting like Gabby Faulkner, I think. If she was she there that day? She, she was Robin originally, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't remember who was there that day. Did anyone have to get photoshopped in? No. There oh, were okay. people who weren't there, but yeah. we didn't bother photoshopping them in. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was just really cool to like be in that space because it was my first thing that I ever did, like yeah, acting yeah, yeah. wise. Um, cause I never did any of the plays. You talk about doing three, I didn't do a single show when I was at USC. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you didn't miss much. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm happy I did it because we got to do a lot more stuff. And I think, yeah. like, that was what I wanted to do anyway. It was, like, film and totally. what. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. I, no, I, like, thinking back on it, that was, that was huge. Like, just. Yeah. My bitch ass was like, I'm doing a show. Y'all want in? And everyone was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Are we the only two remaining cast members of that yeah. era? Yeah. Yeah. But they were in. Had had a little March 2020 not happen. Yeah. One of these days we'll figure it out. Yeah. No, but I, I, what I, is it? Yeah. I do stand by if that show went into production, we wouldn't have finished it. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. I, 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 I even, like, <laughs> like we're, we're, we're tackling it, I mean, literally now. We're shooting that, right that now. show now. Yeah. And it's like, holy fuck. Like, it's this hard. Is, this is a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of cast members and so yeah I don't I don't I, I I'm, I'm kind of glad it didn't happen because it it, it it paved the way um for our biggest thing yeah um, whatever that thing was yeah, yeah whatever, whatever happened <laughs> in, 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 in May 2020 
production began on the first feature film, formerly a series of DKs. Yeah. We, we started DKs in May, in May 2020. There was, I was home. Yeah. For some reason, you know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I was, I was just like, ah, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little, a little stir crazy. I want to kind of like work on something. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll do this apocalypse movie. I start writing it, like figuring it out, and then I realize, hey, wait a fucking minute, I wrote an apocalypse movie in high school before FIA. Let me pick that up. So I pick it up, and it's insane. It, it's very clearly a freshman in high school wrote this thing who a freshman who was into Marvel and The Walking Dead <laughs> so, um, so you can imagine how fucking insane that script was and basically what ended up happening is we I took only the characters and the title mm -hmm. everything else was different it had to be different for what yeah. we were working with so yeah Big B was in the source material Norman and Steven were in the source material they weren't brothers in the source material they became brothers once I cast Jesse and Thaddeus Allen, fucking a shout out to my, my boys. And yeah, we, we made that just like, you know, we were home for some reason, you know? Yes. And I, I guess I don't really know what I was expecting. Um, but then a couple months later on July 10th, 2020, the series started dropping episodes weekly. Uh, I remember the first one did like pretty decent in terms of like that era of some mm -hmm. dude. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that was a like, gradual drop off. But I was like, I consider this a success, just like yeah. based on like the views of FIA, our last yes. yeah. big thing. Absolutely. I'm like, this is cool. Um, and then months later, in October 2020, October 23rd specifically, I, we dropped the director's cut of DKs, which was all the episodes morphed into one big movie, as it should have been from the start. <laughs> and then that drops and it fucking goes crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember I was literally in LA at this time um, for Halloween. Mm -hmm. I was raging. I shouldn't have been raging <laughs> during this time. But it was surreal because it was blowing up so much. I was getting recognized at parties already, which was crazy. And you're, you're in DKs. You're in DKs in a very interesting way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the filming of that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, um, well, going back to like how I got the role of Azalea, it was actually because of something that I just released on my YouTube as a personal actor. That's um, But... I was cast from like one of our professors, Stevie Johnson. Shout, Shout out. out Stevie, Stevie Johnson. Johnson love that man. Guy. Love him. He's the best professor. Um, but he had cast Sebastian and I in a role uh, or in the play like Fool for Love. And it was just like the first scene. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> you, you know. Yeah. Um, but in that scene, it's very like nitty gritty couple that like is just very toxic and awful to each other and it's abusive and in that scene I had a monologue that was very menacing like about like murdering him <laughs> and you had told me later on that like me doing that scene you were like oh she can do not just like yeah girly preppy whatever like kind of Avery's not like super early super preppy yeah, but yeah, like yeah. it's more in that realm mm -hmm. and so we had talked about you know Decay's two and he also decays just one yeah. and being in that and because of that thing that happened we well, I don't know weird uh ends. still trying to figure it out <laughs> um we had to film it in two different places yeah. and it was interesting because I had to make it look like your footage and we also had to input an actor that you were filming in South Dakota from my footage that I filmed in Missouri. Yeah. So I filmed that footage. Shout out Chun. Shout out Chun. I love Chun. <laughs> Chun's That's awesome. Chun, Chun was in FIA, one of the original cast members. Oh, really? Chun awesome. is probably the longest running some dude like member. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, like outside of me. Yeah. That's awesome. Anyway, oh, yeah, you, you, you had to shoot uh, virtually with Chun. Yes, and I had to film on my iPhone in my dad and mom's office in our house and make it look like it was a warehouse. Uh, so yeah. that was fun. Yeah. But it honestly, the way you cut it together, like it looked pretty. It good. looked pretty yeah. damn good. <laughs> I, I, I think that scene is technically not canon. Yeah. Anymore because we did redo we it. Yeah. We redid it in DK's too. Mm -hmm. But it was just. It was, I, I I remember being so like. I was so happy you were down. Oh yeah, because I was absolutely. like, "Fuck, this is like this is a weird request." Like, <laughs> hey, can you shoot a scene and send it to me? Um, and you were so down. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" yeah. But yeah, seeing that scene you did with Seb, fucking shout out Seb. Um, Seb. 
I was like, okay, I, I don't think I thought anything at the time. But yeah. Like, I was like, okay, cool. But then as I was like writing the script for the first one and realizing that I wanted Azalea in the post credit scene, mm -hmm. I was like, well, who the fuck's yeah. gonna play Azalea? Yeah. Um, and, I, and I remembered that scene. I was like, let's do it. And now here we are, fucking years later, you... How many times have you played Azalea now? One, two, three... Withered? Am I allowed to say that? You are allowed to say withered. It's okay. right behind me. Okay, amazing. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah. It's not like editing exists or anything, yeah. but uh, withered. What else did I show up in? Is that it? I don't know. I think oh, so. Oh, Haven. Oh my god. The very yeah, end. Hated. 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 Shout out DK's. Yeah. I also have in my notes here, um, in terms of October 2020, we also did a horror short. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't have a poster oh, of it. Oh, wait. But it's with Jonathan and Hannah, Yeah, it was, no? I did it with Pelster and, and Hannah Lloyd. Yeah. It was, did they do that? I yeah. forgot about it. No, <laughs> it was... Was it Sobo in it, too? Am Sobo I was like a, the, the... The guy? The, 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 the dude? The freak. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that was a... I, I told them, I was like, yeah, I'm coming out to LA to fucking hang out, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um... And I was like, fuck it, let's do a movie. Like, cause not, not similar to you, like neither of them had acted because of, I don't know why. They yeah, hadn't acted. We'll figure it out. They hadn't acted until March 2020. Yeah. And I met them both in Stevie Johnson's class. Mm -hmm. um, Black Folder Gang. Black Folder Gang. Um, and I was like, let's do a little horror thing. So I fucking, I literally, like the week before I drove out to LA, I threw something together. I was like, good enough. <laughs> and we did it and it's fine. I don't really reference it a lot because it's not really any of it. I did forget it exactly. <laughs> I, like, I was like, what horror? Oh, yeah. I, was, I like picture a thumbnail. Of, yeah, the like, thumbnail with Hannah, like the dudes. Yeah, like, like, the, yeah. Free, yeah. the free the free yeah. 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 Um, So yeah, that happened. Um, and then I have uh, Christmas 2020 was when Blue Phoenix 3 dropped. Mm. But we'd start shooting that like, I think right as I got back from LA when we started production on that. And that one was fun. I, I do still think fondly of it. I think there's some cool VFX in there. I think the story's pretty cool, but... And I believe... No, I was going to say that was the last thing I did with Jesse and Thaddeus, but no, they they do return. Shout out Jesse. That, I, I... So God, the Jesse, two of them. The, no, they're so great. They're wonderful. Also, Jace. Jace, Jace is cool. Um, yeah. But I was closer with Jesse and Thad. Because um, I met Jesse my freshman year of high school. Um, we were in football together, and some former player for the Vikings came and was like, I used to do football. I thought those were like <laughs> extinct now, Vikings. That shit's crazy. I know, dude. It's nuts. Yeah. Um, but and then he started handing out pre, like not even pre-signed, pre-printed autographs. I'm like, I remember <laughs> I, was, I, I knew, I was pretty knowledgeable about this shit. So I was being like, this is fucking worthless. Like, why are you giving this to us? Um, but me and Jesse just having me standing by each other and he was like, oh, are you two brothers? And before I didn't even say anything, Jesse grabbed me and he goes, yup. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man. And we've just been homies ever since. That's, that's really awesome. fun. That's actually great. That's Yeah, okay, that's so a good cute. introduction story. Yeah, yeah. No, so Jesse, Jesse was, Jesse cameoed in FIA a couple of times. He was, he was my co-star in DK's as Norman. Yeah. Uh, who I showed... loved their performances in that. Yeah. I remember cause, Absolutely. Because I remember when it came, when DK's came out, uh, sometime after, it was, I think, relatively after, we call, we had, like, a long call. Yeah. Because you wanted my opinion on it. Um, and I remember, I, I remember talking, I was like, they were really fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, they, they did they a were really great. good job. Absolutely. I was, I was very happy when I w was able to squeeze them into the whole trilogy. Because mm -hmm. they have yeah. an appearance at least once in every movie. Yeah. Um, and then it was fucking great to work with them again on Blue Phoenix 3. I, I fucking loved working with those guys. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not even actors, which is the crazy <laughs> yeah. part. Just they some, do such a good I know, job, It's just though. something they do. Yeah. Like, like I, I guarantee you, if I called up Thaddeus and was like, hey, I want to do another Blue Phoenix, he'd be like, I'm in. <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah, he's like, let's do it. Let's yeah. fucking rage. Um, and so then, here we are, we've jumped a couple months. So February 2021, I drive back to LA to shoot two projects, <laughs> Christine and The Adventures of Robin and Clark. Christine came out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right behind you. Christi Christine, great episode. We, there may not be a, a Some Dude Talk um, centered on that one coming very soon. Who knows? Um, 
That was a good time. Well, I'll get more into it in that episode. But we also were trying to do Robin and Clark, which was going to... Formerly a spinoff of Hayden Harvey, because Hayden... We were still trying to, like, see if we could get Hayden Harvey rolling. Um, formerly a spinoff, now prequel. Like, kind of like a setup for it. And... We shot the whole thing. We literally shot everything. But the the audio in the final act yeah. was so <laughs> it's atrociously that, bad. It was because of that water. Yeah, we were on top of one of the parking lots in USC. I, I've, I've heard the audio. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of yeah. it. <laughs> but then, but the, we start rolling it. It's, it's quiet enough for a yeah. while. And then this fucking thing just starts going off. I'm like, oh, well, wait. It doesn't go off. It's like almost midnight at this yeah, point. Yeah, and we're, we're like, fuck like... it, let's just shoot it. And we did. And I was like, maybe I can save the audio. I couldn't. It was so <laughs> bad. But it was, it was a cool, it was, it was, a, I was going to say it was a cool script. It was an alright script. I, um, Christine also showed up in that, that character. Um, Daisy Tishner, shout out. Um, played Robin because yeah. Gabby Faulkner had dropped in around March 2020. I don't know why. Um, Which, it has the funniest bit with with because I was in I was in the class with with Daisy the playwriting class and I, I uh, literally was like she seems knowledgeable about stuff I'm gonna hold on after I'm gonna ask if she's cool for us like Zoom and ask her so I'd be like hey whenever I return back to campus what the fuck should I do and we were talking and uh, I don't remember how it came up but I mentioned you and she's like hold on and she's held up the poster with you two together and I was like. What? Oh my god! Yeah, dude, what? Because I didn't, I had no clue that was happening, nor that she was in it. And I was no, like, dude, what the? Fuck? And here's the, she was fucking great. Like she's, she's awesome. She's so good. I would yeah. love to work with her on something else. Um, she was great to act with, and because Robin and Clark are supposed to be like romantic interests, and this was like the introduction of their relationship. So I was mm -hmm. like, fuck, if this chemistry doesn't work, because I really did cast her on a whim. Yeah. Um, after we lost um the previous actress, um. But it worked. It was really good. I think we, we did get a lot of cool stuff. Um, but there's just literally no way in hell that ever comes out. <laughs> I actually don't even think I have the footage. I have a poster. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you were in that as well as, yeah. as Avery. Do you want to talk about Robin and Clark at all? I... <laughs> there's my, a trailer. We have a trailer. Maybe oh, maybe I do I'll, remember this. Maybe yes. I'll link the trailer. Yes. Cost a lot of money. I do remember yeah. this. <laughs> I mean, because my biggest memory, no lie, my biggest memory is filming, because I was the one that was fi helping you film yeah. that final fight scene, so I just remember, like, the misery of us being so cold at midnight, and, like, that thing continuing to go on, we are like, fuck this thing, I'm so bad. Um, no, but I filmed in what was supposed to be our apartment, and I had my little at, cup at, of coffee. At, at Sobo's place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember, like, filming in Sobo's apartment, and that was really fun, and then... We, I think this was Jonathan and I's first time, because we also had to have chemistry, because yeah. our characters, like, weren't as romantic mm -hmm. as Robin and Clark, I would say, but we definitely mm -hmm. still had to have chemistry, because there was going to be, like, eventual romance there. Yeah. So, it was really fun to act with Jonathan in that, too. So then, moving on from February 2021, March 12th, 2021, Christine drops. Mm-hmm. It was fun. You know, like, it was just... I, I think there, there 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 was kind of a level of I don't want to say disappointment, but like like lackluster performance just compared to DK's. Yeah. Yeah, because DK's had been just a couple months prior. We were really writing that. Yeah. You're we getting ready for um, DK's two at this point. That's actually something I forgot to mention. When I did come out to LA to shoot Christine and Robin and Clark, we also did a teaser for DK's two. Yes, I remember that. Um, that was which fun. was crazy. We shot at a location. We went. We later went back to 40 ks three. Yes. Yeah. The graffiti. The 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 the, mm. the, the missile silo. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah. So like Christine and Blue Phoenix three kind of like underperformed. And I was kind of like, oh shit. And <laughs> so I was, that's why I was kind of like getting nervous for DK's two. DK just had a lot going for it mm -hmm. back in the day. It was you know there were, there were no movies coming out for fucking some, reason. some fucking we'll reason. I don't know why. <laughs> um. <laughs> It was, you know, it was October, it was spooky season, you know, and it was a feature, you know, like, it's just putting that out was like, this is, it did well, and for a reason, you know, yeah. I wouldn't say the movie itself is like, like, it was good for its time, we've definitely grown a lot since then, but like, I don't know, and so with Blue Phoenix 3 and Christine and all that kind of flopping, I think is what started the ramp up 
for DKs too. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm like, let's do this, but also like, oh fuck. And there's some ner nervousness with that. But before we got to DKs too, um, in April, on April 2nd, 2021, we dropped the black and white version of the first DK's movie, mm -hmm. which is something we would continue to do for every one of them, but I think now with Withered, we're not going to do a black and white cut anymore. And it was I, the Romero cut so the Romero edition, because George Romero is yeah. the creator of the more modern zombie. But, no, I think that one did fine. Like, it was whatever. I think it did better than, like, Blue Phoenix Green Christine, but, like, still not, wasn't at DK's level. And then, right after that, in May 2021, production began on DK's 2. Which <laughs> One involved, of these days, Haven will happen. <laughs> but that involved U2 flying out to South Dakota, mm -hmm. as well as Luke Sobo, shout out, and yes. Alex shout Shaw. Out. Shout out. Opposite of a shout out. Opposite of a shout out. <laughs> yes. yes, Alex Shaw. And just what an insane time. Yeah. You guys want to talk about yeah. that from your perspective? Oh my god. Do you, do you want to go first or what me too? You can go you, first. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, okay. So I had been home since March of 2020 because something happened. Uh, <laughs> and I, so, and I didn't interact with anybody my age except for the people that I was calling, which was like you and like Robert and I think Alex and like my high school friends. It was a weird time. Uh, we can also talk about this later, but around around the winter time, I was also like, you know, I was supposed to write something called Haven. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll get there. We'll get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but but I was already like on the radar, especially post me talking about the case one. I think was really when you were like, I want to get his input with stuff moving forward. Yeah. I don't want to speak for you, but like that's the impression that I got. Yeah, yeah. So for the case two, you were you were very much like, I like. Like, what is your opinion on this draft? Like, what do you think? And we would, like, schedule meetings and talk about that. Um, so, eventually you pitched it to me originally as, do you want to come out and help, like, production-wise? Like, because I'd been, I'd been wanting to try and break into more, like, production assistant filming, whatever. Because I was like, I know writing, but, like, the other I don't know. So I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, and then, yeah, and then in, in May of 2021, I saw people for the first time in like a year, people my age the first time in like a year plus, and it was really weird. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I don't remember when the decision was made, but at some point, I took on the mantle, Jonah Carlson, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I think, I think, by the you'd come out was like you were doing it. Yeah, right? I think it was, but I think it was like a one of those like me before and you're like, hey, I don't think he's gonna do it. Like he's gonna do it. Yeah, because we had you. someone else who was gonna do it. Yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> I think I want you. Uh, oh, can you do it? And I was like, yeah, sure, well, might as well. Um, I was probably a lot more panicky than that. I was probably, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I probably had no idea that Jonah would then be a recurring <laughs> yeah, character. He's just about every day. He's, he's, he's still alive. <laughs> he, he, um. Yeah, and so then I, I went out, and, uh, yeah, we, uh, God, I remember the, f the first time we got there, I remember f flying in, I remember, like, you know, you gave me a hug, and then we, I met Sobo for the first time, and cause I, I met, uh, uh, I knew Alex, but I met Alyssa in the airport, because they were, you guys were, like, I don't know if you guys had met up somewhere beforehand, right? Am I imagining things? Alex and I flew in together. Yes, We yeah. had the same flight. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, because yeah, I remember and that was guys, our first time. Us really meeting yeah. Sans, the underwear <laughs> interaction that I yeah. had with him, first time I met him. So yeah. that was the first real interaction with Alex. Yeah, so then we, I remember, because then we went to, like, the Walmart River to get stuff, and then <laughs> we, I, I remember I was like, hey, Brandon, how much, how long of a drive is it to your place? You're like, four hours. I was like, <laughs> I remember thinking about it. That's a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got in the car, and he started talking, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> it's really taking a while. <laughs> Four hours. And you at no point though. did you think, hey, maybe I should mention this. <laughs> like, but we stopped at the greatest restaurant ever. Why did I forget? Fazoli's. Fazoli's. Shout out Fazoli's. Fucking Fazoli's. Which is great because it's, uh, it's, you know, several people who are at varying levels of social anxiety and also not talking to people. And also Sobo who hadn't slept for hours <laughs> and was delirious. <laughs> 
<laughs> just all of us in the Fazoli were like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, like, fucking Fazoli. It was yeah. also like so cramped in that van, at least for Alex yeah. and I, yeah. because we were the like the smallest people, so we were <laughs> in to the back. We were in the very back of the van, like the third row, and we didn't even have the full row because there were suitcases shoved in. So Alex was in the middle and I was pressed up against the window. We were both just kinda like Hey, yeah, nice yeah, to yeah, meet yeah. you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so funny. Yeah. On my side of things, so I had to drive out to pick you guys up. Yeah, which four hours. First, but first of all, <laughs> I was before all of that. I was fucking amazed that you all were like, "Yep, yeah, no." Uh -huh. yeah. I was like, "Holy shit!" Okay, yeah. so I actually, so I had to leave early as fuck because I had to drive to um, Sioux City, Iowa, yeah. to pick up Shallon. <laughs> who um, acted, acted, Shallon was in FIA, Shallon was in the first DKs, their, mm -hmm. her, her role was cut yeah. down a lot, um, because we lost footage, Yeah, maybe we'll do an episode of DKs, um, so she was going to be in DKs 2, reprising her character, but lived there and would need a ride, and I was like, well, I'm getting other folk from Sioux Falls, which is not far yeah. from Sioux City, so I went to Sioux City first, got her, and then to Sioux Falls and got Sobo. Sobo yes. was the first one to land and then yeah. you three Cause you guys like dicked around together. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, With yeah. Sobo, I remember you like, mm -hmm. and Sobo was just delirious the whole time. Yeah. But just, what a time. We could definitely just do a whole episode on. Oh, yeah, yeah. if we had all of us here, the five yeah. of us, yeah. Yeah, like, there's so much to talk about with that. She I, definitely slept, not, I slept on your floor, that shit was that weird. She didn't sleep on my floor. Yeah. Like, definitely like not enough we could get through. Now. Yes, no. I, I I agree. It just felt otherworldly. Like yeah. it just felt like I don't know, like one of those moments in time that we when we said it while we were filming, we were like, "This is something that we're gonna look back on and just like remember as like such a crazy and awesome yeah. experience." Yeah. And it's true. Like, and we went back to South Dakota, but it wasn't the same. Yeah. Like, it was an, a whole different type of awesome and mm -hmm. so much fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah. just that something about that first time, post whatever happened. Um, where we were all like seeing human beings for the first time yeah. and just creating something so cool And I remember we would like we'd film something and be together for so long mm -hmm. and then Crowd in your bedroom and watch you edit. I think we were just so like desperate for human interaction that yeah. like We did not get any alone time that entire trip But I yeah. don't really think it negatively affected us in any way because we were craving yeah. it so much Yeah, it was there were points where I wanted to strangle Alex Shaw, but no, yeah. that's well, I think that's all a, of yeah. us were there yeah, I mean, that's, I'm still there with him like, Yeah, right today. back <laughs> <laughs> I him. Oh yeah, it was it was such a weird time. It's just a lot of Close bonding and like a just complete and total dedication to the project, which is crazy. Yeah. Like, um, and it gives some great anecdotes because there's like the whole like the if we ever do it like the three part like warehouse saga. Yeah, no, that. Like, um, this is such an insane time, and yeah. I'm so grateful that y'all you were so down. Yeah, what like, a great thank you for housing. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you so much like, for housing us. Um, but um, yeah. Anyway, the case two happened. The case two crazy. fucking <laughs> happened. We'll talk more about it soon. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then a month later, production begins on Haven. The your time. I'm in. I'm back in. The first focus on the Grab first DK spinoff that yeah. we did was Haven. Yeah. And I remember it was pitched during the first movie. During the, we were doing the first yes. movie because there was a point where they go through a house, and it's like there's something here. Mm -hmm. Um. And so then I remember Sophie was particularly interested in doing that, and I know mm -hmm. she figured out some story beats or whatever. But we yeah. did we tasked you, yeah, with the screenplay because because basically what I remember was uh, and what I was gonna say what I originally said like started talking about when I did because it was we started meeting about it after once again after the first the case thing where I called you and talked about it. There was some time that something came up, yeah, where we were like, I want you to spin off. Would you be interested in like writing? And obviously, you know, I was like, oh, it's an amazing opportunity. To write something and yeah so Sophie had figured out a lot of the plot beats that she wanted for the piece mm -hmm. it was then up to me to just write the piece and I think it was originally episodic no it was originally long like it was originally like you wrote like a oh no, 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 no yeah okay because it was it was that it was structured though around these like days or some there's some original structure to it the calendar Right. Yes, yeah, it was structured in such a way. But yeah, and then I wrote a full-length thing that 
I'm, I'm gonna look back on it, I'm sure it was not. I remember liking it at the time. I remember at the time thinking like, yeah, this is pretty good. I like it. I remember uh, you guys started you it. started it, yeah. And we're like, not happening. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Uh, so they asked me to compress it down by a lot, like a lot. Uh, and so we, I made, I wrote, rewrote Haven, New Haven. Um, and uh, so... One element, though, of that was while I, in the original Haven that I wrote, there was a the weird subtle cult thing that was, like, hinted at at one part. And you guys, I remember you guys were like, hey, what's the deal with that? And I was like, I don't know, I just thought I'd, like, help expand. I'd been playing, like, Fallout at that point. I was like, I hope it'd be fun, like, expand the world by, like, doing some weird religious zealot stuff. And you're like, we like that. Like, that's good. I was like, okay. Um, and so when I rewrote it... Uh, we were like, hey, because at that time we were like, hey, what if we did a spinoff, uh, when we were doing the second rewrite, the condensed time, I was like, what if we eventually do a, a, a spinoff based on the the cold ideas, which were Black Storm. Yeah. Um, and... Could still happen. Uh, could. I mean, it would be a bit hard now, because, <laughs> you know, but... Um, Figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> It'll work out, but... Uh, but yeah, so then... Uh, he so with ha when I rewrote Haven, then we were basically like, let's use the post credit scene to set up Blackstorm, which is supposed to involve this uh, character Isaac and play his bar play played by Rabasa and uh, Azalea. Were like, uh, and what's funny is that in the final product, uh, the post credit scene is like so long. It's like two, three minutes long. <laughs> yeah, it's so in long. a fifteen minute. Movie. Yeah, for not a very long movie, it is <laughs> way too long. Um, but you directed that. I did, scene. yeah, I did direct the postcard scene, and yeah, so uh, when when we came back, because you guys started filming that, when, whenever we came back, uh, spoilers for later on, we filmed the postcard scene in California. In, in LA. Yeah. yeah, and then it was eventually released, and uh, it was really funny. It was actually released, um, I could tell you right now, oh, um, Haven dropped on August 6th, 2021. And I, oh, yeah. I remember I, I made an uh, Instagram post about one it. One of your four Instagram posts. One of my posts. four Instagram <laughs> posts about Haven. And it was really funny because I saw a lot of people who were like cheering me on. And then I'm, I have conflicted feelings about it just because I'm like, I don't think I wrote it as well as I could have. Like, especially the condensed down version. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm dreaming of the day that I can do like, like a horror film thing that can like redeem myself. <laughs> you know, you know yeah, I get you, bro. Dreaming of the day. One of these days, you know. We would be we were jumping ahead, but you did write Raven. Yeah, I did also write yeah. Raven, which is weird. Shut up, that, we'll get there. Was, but it's just weird that the two things I've written for for the Casey versus Raven and Haven. <laughs> That's strange. But, yeah, yeah, I remember we pointed out like, should we change the title? Yeah, nah, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yes, Haven. Yeah. That's Haven. So, no? yeah, Haven and now I'm drops. gonna go nonverbal until we go back to Raven. So <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, Haven directed was directed by Sophie. Came yeah. out. Did all right. No, it was it was testing the waters. It was the first DK spinoff. Yeah. And I think that one with another one that we'll, we'll get to kind of help us figure out how we yeah. do these spinoffs. Mm -hmm. um, but really strong. Like the the end, like zo like the zombie attack is really strong. The yeah. argument is really strong. Hey, Haven, low key banger. I appreciate it. Um, we're moving on. Also in August 2021, the first season of Some Dude Sketches had started. That was headed by Jonathan Pelster, I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't have it all like exactly written out, but we started doing those sketches now, like in August, mm -hmm. and I think he did f five or six of them. Mm -hmm. There's a playlist of them on the channel. Yeah, yeah. I remember. They were like fun, but yeah. the, re the, the real issue with that was like that was where my efforts were going. Like, I was there, on, I was shooting all of yeah. them and everything, so I didn't have time to do... I remember because we were living hey, together at that point. We were living together. Yeah. At that point. We, were, we were living in a, in a room about this size. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's, generous. that's generous. That's generous. <laughs> it was. It was smaller. Um, the curtain bedroom. Side shuffle between yeah. the desk and the yeah, bed. Yeah. 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 Got a go. <laughs> like feet to face, like. Yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> shout out. Fucking yeah. that place. Oh, and the Bryce. The Bryce, dude. R.I.P. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, sketch went on, I think, mm -hmm. until, like, January... That... February, because we did the Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, February 2022, I think, was the last one. Mm -hmm. But Because like, we turned my apartment into, like, a, a love... A love, a love... Love den. castle, yeah. then, yeah. Sobo was in that Sobo one. was the king of it. a banger. I think I watched that. Was that was a great I, I, one. I watched that with, with, with Gabe and Donovan recently. Really? Yeah. 
That one was awesome. That the, was the really Valentine's funny. The Valentine's Day one where it's like the me and the other guy looking for like we're in the mountains at a point. Um, thank I get to, I, I, it's good. But it was it was sketches were meant to be like filler content. To mm. be completely fucking honest, it was like the stuff that we had on the channel in between. Yeah, the um, the really the big yeah. like the things we buy posters for. Yeah, you know. Um, but just since it was taking so much of my time, I was like, I can't. Mm -hmm. keep doing this um and then once we get to the second season of sketch we can talk a bit more about how it evolved but moving on yeah october 22nd 2021 dk's two drops and Ooh. oh my god what a day that was a yeah. great day what that was a great day. day that was a great month yeah. it was because we premiered it earlier in the month yeah mm -hmm. which was super cool it was one of the best days of my life yeah it was a great day but no, that was it was super fun. Uh, like that whole screening, um, and then like the lead up to like the drop. And I just remember um, kind of going back to what we talked about earlier with like DKs. I did not think DKs two was going to do well at all. And I, that's I not like a, a slight. Yeah, I remember, that's not a slight of the quality. Even I still think DKs two is still one of the best movies we've done. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I was like, fuck. I, there are more movies now. Yeah. Was whatever whatever happened last October, and there's no movies. We're there's now more movies. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't know. And then I, um, I woke up, the because it dropped at midnight. And I checked my phone, and DK's two already had more views than DK's had in a week, mm -hmm. and it had been less than twelve hours. Yeah. yeah. It was over ten k. I was like, what the fuck? I had to go yeah. to class with this knowledge. <laughs> I had class like one class that Friday. I was just sitting in class, just like giddy. I was like. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. I just kept checking the numbers. It was fucking going crazy. And it was super cool. It was The comments were all, yeah. Yeah. It, but no, that was just such a great time. And I, I do think that this era of somebody production is kind of where we found our groove. Mm -hmm. You know, like we, from, like after finally, we were all back in college. Yeah. Like just recently back in college. Yeah. Um, after a big break. Yeah. For, for some reason. I don't know what the fuck happened. Um... <laughs> But, like, there was a team now, and, like, it was really, we were starting to do a lot of shit, and I think, D, like, DK's 2 was a good, like, motivator yeah. to do yeah. stuff. I remember also around this time, we were still trying to revive Hayden Harvey. Yes. But there are also other things, I think there was a point where we were maybe going to do Christine 2, mm -hmm. and, like, mm -hmm. other projects were in the works. It was, like, it was a crazy time. And then right after that, in December 2021, we had announced, um... FIIA, which was the sequel series to FIA that my sister was heading. Yeah. Um, that was like our end of the year mm -hmm. um, announcement. But looking back at 2021 as a whole, wild year for some new productions. <laughs> Insane year. We had Christine, we had the Romero edition, the first movie, DK's 2, Haven, fucking Sketch had started. Like, yeah. One, probably one of our best years. Yeah. And I think that people at USC like started to take us more seriously, I think, at that point. Well, the first meeting was Brandon. You know? Well, yeah, no, but I just meant, like, people, like, started to know what SDP was more around campus, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Obviously, like, on YouTube, like, our platform was growing, too. I think mm -hmm. that we hit, like, 8,000 or 10,000 subscribers through Decays 2, something like that. It was, like... 8K, maybe? 8,000. That's what I yeah. thought we hit from Decays 2. Mm -hmm. But it just felt like such, like, a... I don't know, like, such a beautiful thing to happen, too, especially after that w weird thing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. No, it was a great year. Mm -hmm, it was. And then, starting out 2022, in January, production began on Gravesley and Outbreak. Both of those film shots started shooting the same month. Yeah. Gravesley was directed by Alex Shaw, um, coming off of the case, too. Um, cool. just... <laughs> what? I said, fuck. Damn. Damn. Fuck Alex Shaw. <laughs> no, but big... A big B spinoff ever was something I was never like that interested in, but like with DK's two and the comments, I was like, "Fuck, this would go crazy." Yeah. Because people loved him. People still love this fucking guy. I I, yeah. I wanted him to like Azalea in DK's two, but people were like, "Man, that bitch is fucking crazy." John's Fuck girlfriend. John's girlfriend. John's, John's girlfriend. girlfriend. I fucking John's hate girlfriend. John's so girlfriend, weird. dude. Yeah. Big B though. Yeah, he's a chill. That's he's, my fucking he's, dude. He's the guy. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, we did that, and I think Gravely shot. I think it was wrapped by like mid February. Yeah. Because up in the mountains, shoot. it was very quick. It's fifteen minutes, mm -hmm. you know. But we also started shooting Outbreak around that time, and that you directed that. 
I did direct that. That was actually the first thing that I've ever directed, which was, it was a super fun experience. I think it was a good learning experience totally. too, because I think that just about everything that could go wrong on a production went wrong in Outbreak, yeah. like in terms of there was a couple of times where like we would be ready and prepped to shoot and then like someone couldn't show up and like all of us were there except for that one person that we needed. And with it being found footage, it's you can't cut around that because no. like everyone's... Everyone's in it. Yeah. Even if it's just like a snippet of them, you can tell if someone's not there because yeah. pretty much every shot is a 360 at mm -hmm. some point. Yeah. But it was a really fun experience and I think it, it taught me a lot as a director because up until that point I had done classes but I hadn't like gotten that experience of production where like yeah you're the director and you have to like direct actors but you also have to like plan shoots and you have to get props and yeah. like coordinate like you and I had to coordinate a lot because you I think at some point you took over for filming because there were some very difficult shots yeah originally the idea was that there would be like no DP and it would just be Jonathan. literally Jonathan Pelster who played yeah. Castle mm -hmm. holding the camera we very quickly realized there were some very specific yeah. movements we needed that he just couldn't do because he's not a camera guy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'll just I'll do the camera shit. You just gotta hang right behind me, mm -hmm. so that your audio still sounds like it's coming from you. From you. yeah, yeah. So like all the camera shots is fucking except the ones where like he turns it on himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And everything mm -hmm. was me fucking running around doing shit. Yeah, but it was a fun experience. I um, I really like was very proud of everyone in the cast. Like there were yeah. moments where. I just hadn't gotten to experience, because I'm, I'm an actor first, but I hadn't gotten to experience what it's like to like see it come to life and like whenever you talk to an actor and be like, oh, like I love what you did, but like try it this way and just like see like, oh, like that was the take. Yeah. It was such like a cool thing to experience for the first time. I think the, the, the there were like a couple instances of that um, with like Jonathan in the very ending scene, but like the, the thing that sticks out to me was like Trevor screaming yeah, when Trevor gets killed. Shout Tre out Trevor. Shout out Trevor. When, like, because I was just like, let it rip. And he he let it rip in, we were filming in a classroom. And we were like, okay, well, damn, he let it rip. <laughs> Hopefully someone doesn't come looking. But, no, everyone in the cast did an amazing job with it. I think we did a really good job, yeah. especially for how much went wrong on that show. No, and I, I think we also saved it, because I, I wrote that one. Mm -hmm. And it was originally linear. Yes. But it was very slow. Mm -hmm. And so I think in the edit, we were like, what if it, the camera's damaged and it jumped around and like, with like the glitch effects and everything. Yeah. I think that really helped. Absolutely. Bring it together. Yep. But then, February 2022, production begins on The Beast Within. Another... It's coming out. One, one of these days. days. One of these days. It's, it's coming out. It, this <laughs> was a <laughs> very... Interesting time for some new productions yeah. and to be honest We shouldn't have let what happened happen Jonathan Pelser was the lead in two projects that were shooting at the exact same time Yeah, and we only had one camera, right? We only had one camera at the time yeah. like we were cuz I remember we were like the camcorder that they're holding Like I mean, whenever you do see it and Albert was what we were gonna record with but it was so bad so bad and it was like, we can't. Let's just use our cameras. Yeah. Um, but we I, we shouldn't have split him like that because it just, both projects kind of suffered for that. And yeah. With. He did a great job, though. He did, though. He, he fucking killed like, it. He both. killed it in both. He did yeah, such a great yeah. job. He really brought it. Um, but production for The Beast Within, because of that, though, just carried on for so long. I, here in okay. my notes, I don't have another entry until May. Yeah. Like, February to May was how long we were fucking Yeah. We didn't doing finish this. filming Outbreak until May. Like, yeah. Or, like, late April. Late early April. May. Same thing with Beast Within. Yeah. Like, and... Then, but, 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 here's what really happened. So, this you want to say something. Well, I was going to say, like, I think another issue was just... It was just that, like, I think we were riding the high of what had been happening. And I think, in addition to John Belser over Santa's... Having lived with you, I think you were over like because I know you you always I mean you always kind of like this, but you're you were especially then trying to like pivot away from whatever responsibilities you can, but there wasn't enough of like a system and like accountable people enough that that could reliably happen, so that it ended up just you were taking the things back on in addition to doing the other stuff that you were trying to do, and just mm -hmm. everything kind of suffered for it, yeah. like yeah. Um, yeah, totally. 
And yeah, the, the Bees Within just shooting all the way up till May. Um, the reason that was an issue uh, was because in May, on May 16th, 2022, production began on DK's 3. Yeah. Which, of fucking course, DK's 3 is going to take priority over yeah. everything, everything else. Yeah. Because DK's 2 had gotten over a million views by this yeah. point. Yeah. Like, what a time. I, I know you, yeah. you both weren't in, as involved in that one as. Like DK's two. Yeah. Yeah, we were um, on set together a lot. Yeah. You, you probably were on set more than I was. Well. well uh, <laughs> oh wait, no. because you had that thing. Yeah, because I yeah. got yeah, yeah you got I, that thing. I had the thing where I just had to stay at a hotel for like a week. <laughs> Um, you had to do like tests. Yeah, do some sort of. I had to, like ace an exam or something. Like, some kind of. I was like really like happy and positive all the time or something. But yeah. because of that, Free food. Jonah survived. Jonah was <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jonah was originally gonna die he in was. case three, <laughs> yeah. but because you weren't available, yeah. we couldn't shoot his death scene. Yeah. So we so, went back and filmed like some like just talk, like some pickup shit where yeah. like you Jonah survives because it was the big action. Scene. And there was like a part of it you couldn't really reshoot, reshoot or do later. So the yeah. whole like, so that part of the the action just had to get reworked. Was, what was gonna happen? And now having done like finished the movie, I'm like, yeah. I don't know how the fuck we'd have done this. Yeah. But it was originally when Bigby tries to spring free, he was supposed to be tied up originally. Yeah. I think I was supposed to like bat you in the head and then wrap it yeah, so around I, your neck. Put me over a table. And, I, and like the table's been flipped so I put yeah. you down. The other sparring's open fire and, and I Jonah gets yeah, shot to death. <laughs> and that was in the script. Like I, I, I literally found the script we used on set. Yeah. Um, that death is in that script. Yeah, but he survived. But he's alive. He's still you to this day. You made up, Jonah. Jonah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember the only thing that was just that like, uh, that period of time was also just a thing of like, it was, it, it also had this weirdness of like, it was filming in the place that we were living a lot of yeah. the time. And there was a lot of just like, you know, complications that come from that because you're living in the same space that you're like working and it and the place has to look like a rundown, like apocalypse place and there's a lot of complications, a lot of people coming and going and it, I, it was just a, it was a lot going on. It was, it was it was a crazy shoot. I think yeah. that movie overall, and I mean we're planning a DK's three episode. Yeah. Me, you, and Tori. Shout out Tori. Shout out Tori. Um, where we can get into it more, but I I think at least in terms of like writing a DK's three was bogged down by ending the trilogy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. there are a lot of loose ends to tie up, a lot of new characters. It was just a whole yeah. thing. I still really like that movie. I think yeah. it's a very strong movie. It just. There's a, had, a, had a lot going on. Yes. The production oh, process absolutely. very complicated. Yeah. But speaking of fucking Tori, fucking Victoria Martz, fucking shout out, she's great. Yeah. Because no. we had a lot of issues with Jennifer in that character. Yes. Oh. It was yeah. really, <laughs> so many. Like, yeah. okay, so first of all, really throwing it back, Jennifer's in the first case film via a photograph, yeah. and she was originally played by Gabby Falconer, who was also going to play Robin in Hayden the first Harvey. Hayden Harvey. Yeah. Um, but she had dropped out of both at the same time. Yeah. Like, yeah. She was like, I can't do Hayden Harvey and I can't do DKs. And I was like, well, you're already in DKs. So I guess there's nothing I do about that. Um, yeah. And so we had to recast her for DKs too. We got another actress. It was great. Mm. She, she's awesome. Just an incredibly busy person. Mm. Yeah. Just has a lot going on. So it just wasn't going to work, especially with how involved Jennifer was yeah. in DKs 3. So we had to recast again and we got we got i can say this we got emily mcdougall emily mcdougall was gonna do it she's now worked with us on oliver versus mm -hmm. the universe mm -hmm. um but then something at last minute was like she did internship think, or something something she got yeah. yeah she couldn't commit to it anymore so yeah. like, fuck mm -hmm. and so then we got victoria mm -hmm. and she was like in, I was like, we're gonna be shooting like a like three weeks straight this summer, and she was like, I'm in. Yeah, I'll she go. walked in. I remember being there for the audition, and she yeah. like did a really great job. Yeah, she, killed it. she yeah. really yeah. did. She came um, in with the boots and everything. Dude, no, I just I, remember her combat boots. I was like, damn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fucking sick, and then she fucking kills it. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. There, there, there may or may not be more Jennifer content in the future, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that DK's three great fucking time. Yeah. But then. Four days after production started on DK's 3, Outbreak dropped on May 20th. Mm -hmm. And that one was crazy because Outbreak... Bigby had died mm -hmm. in DK's 2. 
and Outbreak was the first, like, he's alive. Yeah. yeah. So for those first couple of days of shooting DKs 3, I, anytime I was in the Big B outfit, couldn't post anything. Yeah. Because as far as everyone knew, I was dead as fuck. Yeah. And I remember, like, the day, the day Outbreak dropped, a week from that was when we revealed Big B was in DKs 3. Mm-hmm. Because I like to give a weak buffer of, like, mm. we don't spoil it. Um, yeah. And that's still, like, to this day what we do. Um, but, yeah, I remember that day when I could finally reveal I was in it. I was posting so many pictures, bro. Because Big, <laughs> Big, Big B looked fucking sick in DKs 3. He, looked he like, did. He looked, he looked like Snake. He dude. does look cool at DKs 3. <laughs> like, I have a soft spot for DKs 2 Monster Big B. Monster Big B is tight. DKs 3 is a good Like, good more, Big B, but... more Big B? More Big B, being honest, looking for a way to sneak it back into something. Because <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was just like, just sick as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I remember like, I put it together for the first time. I was like, yeah, this is dope. <laughs> it's, see, it's actually the same fit that's in Outbreak. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm wearing that same outfit when I show up in Outbreak. But yeah, shout out DK's 3 and Outbreak. Um, so, so something I forgot to mention like around this time of... Um, why the fuck are you guys giggling? That's fine. <laughs> keep going. Keep rolling. <laughs> um, so around the time of outbreak dropping, are you good? Are you gonna spit out your teeth? <laughs> do it. Do a spit do take. A spit do, it, do a comical spit. Do it. Do it. Say something funny. Someone fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Drink the water. Just spit no. so funny. I'm just thinking of the line that always makes me cry, laughing. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> That's a, that's a reference to something you haven't seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, well, what happened after the outbreak screen? I, what happened after that? What I was going to say was um, around the time of DK's 3 starting production, outbreak mm-hmm. dropping, like May 2021, yeah. is the five year anniversary of some deep productions. Cause well, that it's ties, a callback to the Because it's a callback what we said to the original at yeah, the beginning of this yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. shit. Um, so that was also crazy. I think for the next year at that point, we had a special intro. It was like five yeah. Um, yeah. dude productions. Um, but just by that point, it was so crazy to be starting a new feature film. And like, it was five fucking years. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, we put out a video, actually, where it was like a sizzle of everything we'd done up to that point. And I watched it like recently. Because um, we're now approaching, like this may will be our seven-year anniversary. Um, we've doubled our productions. Like, like the, the ones we we went through in the five-year video, I think it was like six or something, we've now added six more productions. Like, more than six, actually. Mm-hmm. And so we're really growing exponentially as a company. Um, so, having said that, yeah. there's a lot more to get through in this the <laughs> Dude history. About Raven. <laughs> we haven't even talked about Raven. The I'm next big thing. <laughs> And so we're going to save a lot of this for part two, because I feel like we could fucking, this will go on for a while. Yeah, we're yeah. in a good place right now. Five <laughs> yeah, years, five years <laughs> of some new productions. So yeah. do you guys have any closing thoughts or anything before we, we wrap this up? Um, I don't think so. I, I, I'm excited to, you know, chart through the rest of it. It's, it's been fucking crazy. Like, it's, it, talking through it now, I'm like, God damn, there's so a, much. A lot's happened. Yeah. yeah. It was super nostalgic to like run through everything and it's crazy because like every production that we talked about like we could probably have like an in-depth episode on each one yeah, yeah. Wait, so, so much happens in each we might, one we might do that we might oh, actually do that oh my god yeah. um no yeah so it's it's just really cool to reminisce and mm-hmm. yeah excited to talk about the more recent stuff too yeah. do you do you guys have any like fave memories from this this era maybe maybe even if we didn't bring up yet so many memories. I mean, I I know it's like the t- lame answer, but like, it, it probably would just be the case too. Like, the case yeah. Case really, like, it's just so much there, you know, like sentimental and all that. But it's just like such a bonding experience. Like mm-hmm. we, the five of us, are gonna be like bonded forever just because yeah, we did that. We're always gonna have that. Yeah. 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 How about you? Any particular standouts in those five years? Well, I mean, as the dude who's as some as fucking dude, one of those dudes, the, the titular some dude. Yeah. Um, it just I don't know. It's been just so crazy to see it grow, like. Even just within those five years, mm-hmm. it was fucking crazy. And, like, doing all these films with all you guys, like, I'd, I'd never imagined that, like, after FIA, the thing I basically had to, like, strangle my friends to do, yeah. that I would get to a point where everyone's so in and yeah. just doing shit. So it's been a fucking awesome journey. And I'm excited to get more into the, the modern stuff, the stuff that's yeah. more, more recent in our memories. Yeah. But, yeah, thank you both so much for joining yeah. me. And thank you for having shit us. With me. Um, it was covid that's what happened in Twilight. Oh, oh shit! Oh, it was cold. Oh, oh, how could we get that? Damn it, dude. Ah, oh, 
shit. Damn.